What's up everybody? The weekend's almost here and we're back with another video. That's right, and we have a super exclusive interview for you coming up right after this. You're gonna love it. So, we were fortunate enough to secure an interview with one of the founders of a brand new RV company called Alliance RV. And his name is Ryan Brady. So enough talk, let's jump right into it. All right, everyone, I am here with Ryan from Alliance RV. This is a brand new company that just got started. It's something we just looked at and it is phenomenal. So Ryan, can you tell us a little bit about what Absolutely. we're standing in front of? Yeah, I appreciate you guys coming through. And uh, so a little background on Alliance RV. We, uh, we're a new manufacturer, as Dave just mentioned. We were started in the spring. So it's a group of industry veterans, some guys from uh, primarily uh, Heartland, uh, Keystone, and Grand Design. We got okay. together and uh, you know we, we didn't want to be part of a, a large manufacturer anymore, so we decided to go off on our own uh, as an independent. And for the first six months, we didn't build an RV. We just went to the uh, the owners' forums. We created our own Facebook page, which I'll mention is uh, Alliance RV Group, um, uh, which has over 3,000 people on it, and it's. Uh, you know, it's a collection of people that camp and, and full time in these rigs, and uh, you know we solicited their feedback and advice okay. on how to build a more functional, uh, better built RV. So we're we're excited. We uh, we just started production about uh, uh, three month, two three months ago or so. Uh, okay. and we've had some product and really shows. We're here in uh, Timonium, Maryland, at the. Uh, uh, RV show with Leo's RV, mm -hmm. and we're showcasing. Uh, this is our 370 uh, FB. Uh, 370 FB. Yeah. So okay. FB standing for uh, front bath. It is. Uh, it's about 13,800 pounds. That's uh, dry weight. Dry weight. Yeah. Okay. The uh, uh, GBWR is 16A. So you have plenty of cargo. Mm -hmm. um, and so a couple things I'll highlight. I don't want to take too much time, but uh, you know, again, in, in talking to dealers, talking to customers, the biggest thing was, you know, functionality uh, and addressing some of the issues that we heard, you know, over and over on these you know, forums and uh, and on our page. And so one of the big things that we heard was running gear. So people that uh, full time and camp in these things regularly, we heard of uh, running gear uh, issues. And so with our design, we really focus in on how to make our running gear, what we view as best in class. Uh, so some things that we've done, we're running with the, uh, the Dexter axles, but we've upgraded the spring. So uh, we heard from a lot of customers, um, you, know, you know, again, these people full time in these rigs and a lot of cargo and you know, springs were going flat out there. Okay. So what we did is we upgraded to a 4,000 pound spring versus the industry standard 3500. Mm -hmm. uh, along that, those same lines, we're using the Moorite suspension, which we view as superior. Uh, gives the up, down, side yep. to side. We're familiar uh, with those. Suspension. Yep. Uh, we're uh, using the uh, Moorite uh, heavy duty wet bolts and shackles. And then we also found a uh, tire that is 4,400 pounds. So uh, our main competition um, uses tires that are 4,080. So a little bigger cushion. We didn't necessarily increase the GDWR. But we increase that you know, margin of safety, like is how we describe it. So, running gear was a big thing that we focused on. Uh, lamination on the sidewall was another big one. So we're using Nasdell, uh, oh, wow. which is a composite material uh, versus the industry standard for so long has been the Luan. So Luan is a, a, a wood. Um, which is a living, breathing organism that if it gets wet, it's more susceptible to a delamination. So, and you know what? Some people will purchase this just for that yeah. Asdell composite. Well, and yeah. as, as we go through the rig, I mean, it wasn't just one thing that we think you know makes us better than the other guys, but you know, there's, there's a lot of items yeah. that it's amazing just by listening. You know, those, those six months that we just took a step back and listened to. Uh, you know, the people that use these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, by incorporating some of that feedback, you know, we're excited with the, uh, uh, the, the end product here and, you know, listening to the customers and the people that have come through the show, uh, it's being validated, so it's been exciting. Great. Uh, a couple other things I'll mention here on the outside, we have uh, three air conditioners, our standard, on all the uh, Alliance Paradigms. 
and then we're using a PVC uh, roofing membrane. Uh, so a little more expensive, but uh, it's a little more reflective, so it's not gonna absorb as much heat up there. It's easier to repair, uh, and it doesn't have that black streak, and that's more typically associated with the, uh, you know, the traditional rubbers and the TPMs. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I can show you a couple things inside if you guys have time as well. All right. So here we are, we're in the inside again, the 370 uh, FB uh, floor plan. And uh, one of the things you'll notice when you walk in, it's nice and spacious in here. So we are wide body, we're 101 inches wide, and we really try to make it you know, bright in here. Some of these things have gotten you know, dark with lots of browns and lots of yellow tones. Uh, we've tried to brighten it up. The other thing we focus on is maximizing windows. You'll notice big windows throughout the Paradigm. Even behind the, uh, the oven here, we do a nice big window, big windows uh, and the slides. So I mentioned, uh, you know, us listen to the customers. So I'll highlight uh, just a few of the items that came up in that customer driven feedback. The three ACs, we wanted to separate ourselves from the an HVAC standpoint. Uh, so not only did we upgrade the uh, our air conditioning system, we upgraded the furnace. So we have a 42,000 BTU furnace standard. Uh, within our coach, you won't find a shred of carpet anywhere in the coach. Slide outs, closet area, uh, bedroom area, we do not use any carpet. So. In the slides, you'll notice flush floor slides, no carpet. Uh, the dinette table, this was a, uh, something that came up often, uh, was the pedestal tables, or, which is a nice way of saying knee knockers. We eliminated the knee knockers below the dinette tables. Even little things, we had a customer mention to us on the balance legs. You know, oftentimes these come out, you know, a couple inches, which uses some of the usable space, right? If you have a, a freestanding dinette chair and you're banging up against the balance leg, you can taste up some of the space. Uh, this was a neat feature that we've incorporated, uh, the ability to dim your lights. So we had customers saying, you know, wouldn't it be nice in a house if you could dim your lights rather than just bright on or off? Uh, so again, everything was critically evaluated to maximize the functionality of the coach. Uh, this is really neat. Coming into the kitchen area, uh, we do have, we're showing this as a residential refrigerator. We also have the uh, RV refrigerator as an option. It's no charge to go back and forth. Um, Oven sizes. This has been a common complaint in RVs. We have an oven that is more residential, much bigger than what is typically found in RVs. Um, we've centered the oven so you have countertop space on each side of it. Main grade appliances, you have an insignia microwave, again the big insignia oven. Highlight again the big oven, uh, or I'm sorry, the big window behind. All the cabinetry is real hard wood and we do soft close. Yeah. Cabinet doors, so very nice. Very nice. <laughs> soft closed drawers, and we even do a soft closed toilet in our bathrooms. Good countertop space here. Little item here, we do a uh, lighted uh, sink, pull out faucet. So that light, uh, dual purpose, it lights up uh, underneath. So you got nice storage below. And then I'll also highlight this. We provide shutoff valves in all of our major plumbing locations. So we got the feedback from customers. Uh, before, if you had a leak at a, a faucet, that was a unit down situation, right? Because you couldn't isolate the leak. Just like in a house, we put up, we put those shutoff valves in so you can isolate the leak. Still use your camper if you have uh, an issue. Um, we designed this with an eye to maximize storage throughout. So a couple things we've done. We've incorporated the shelf here. So typically this is kind of an up-down setup that does not have a shelf. We have provided a pull-out fireplace. Great storage. So. This is a sleeper sofa back here. If you, if you want to convert it, great. You can store your pillows, your blankets, your sheets. Uh, both these end tables, this was a common aftermarket modification that we were seeing. People was, to unlock that storage, we're doing this. 
So rather than have it as an aftermarket add-on, we decided to incorporate it out of the gates. Right. That's killing me. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. This has been fun. You know, the answers were out there. We just we went ahead and listened. Uh, again, nice and bright throughout. We're doing the blackout uh, MCD uh, shades. You'll also notice on our windows, uh, we're doing the frame windows, which was a, an intentional decision. Why we chose that is because you can slide and open up. Get nice cross ventilation. More, more air coming through. If you talk to any dealer, customer service personnel, they'll tell you that these are higher quality, less susceptible to leaking, and they're not going to shimmy loose over time. So that's why we chose that. The other thing I'll mention too, we do three ACs. Wherever we can on the ACs, we do a direct dump AC. So people, it takes a second for them to get their arms around that because the industry has been conditioned to think that ducted ACs are the best. You got to have ducted ACs. And talking to uh, Coleman, the vendor on the ACs, they said, if you can, if you have a big open area like this, do the direct AC. Reason yep. being, you run that cool air in that hot yep. attic, yep. you lose the yep. efficiency of it. Okay. The one knock on right, these we'll ACs used thing. to be that they're allowed. These are uh, their Q series. Uh, not the most clever or Q for quiet. So you can run both these ACs and we could be having the conversation no problem. We had these units down in Tampa at the RV show. We had customers repeatedly tell us these were the coolest coaches in the show. Uh, now in the bedroom, we do duct it because we have some walls up there we have to get behind. But in these big open areas, we do direct ACs to increase the efficiency. And also from an insulation standpoint, it's better too. That duct work takes up what would otherwise be insulation. Right. Um, so that's just a, a couple of the things I wanted to highlight here. I'm and in love already. Uh, if you got time, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll, yeah. The bed. I'll believe me, we'll make time. <laughs> Uh, here's another little thing too I'll mention before all the drawers if you look feel below you have plywood underneath the drawers so you're not gonna have a drawer fall out uh, another thing that we heard was uh, it doesn't happen often but it's been known to happen holding tanks falling out of RVs oh. if you were to drop the underbelly look at our holding tanks you'll find that they're reinforced with the cage not just the strap we have travel full holding tanks so you can load up your tanks take it on the road and rest assured yeah. that the tanks aren't going to fall. Awesome. Yeah. Um, we just had someone that just said it happened to them. <laughs> yes, it <Yeah>. did. <laughs> so here, here's another, driving. again, everything's been customer driven here. So we had someone say, okay, you got to put a light in there, right? Usually they just put a light in the ceiling, which lights up this shelf. But they said, hey, wouldn't it be nice if you ran a, a light from the floor to the ceiling so you're lighting up all that shelving area, which we've done here. Um, this is a great little sitting area. You come on in, you can untie your shoes, storage underneath. You got a little cork board here with a shelf, which has that live edge, which matches your dinette table, which matches that. So uh, we had a lot of people involved in the design. You know, we wanted to make sure it looks good, but again, it was functionality and uh, that's a nice and, touch uh, and quality. And so everything, you know, we're not a volume manufacturer. Uh, we're just building a, a couple a day. We don't aspire to be one of the big volume guys, but we do aspire to be the highest quality manufacturer. And the, comp, the, the company motto is, uh, our mission statement is do the right thing. It's pretty straightforward. Whether it's the people on the production line, people in our purchasing, our marketing, our service department, do the right thing. So you buy from Alliance, uh, you're not one of tens of thousands, you're one of a couple hundred, and we take care of our customers. So I'll show you up here in the, uh, the bedroom. We got some traffic, which is great. Uh, we have shoe storage below here. Uh, mentioned the dimming light switch. Nice automotive epoxy handle here. Coming on up. Sorry. Uh, again, maximizing your storage. That flips up. All these drawers, soft clothes, nice bank of drawers. The TV is branded. So we do the LG Smart TV in the, uh, in the living area. Up here in the bedroom, we didn't chintz on the, the brand. It's an LG Smart TV as well. Uh, king size mattress, if you did want a queen, that's an uh, option as well, but we do king size as standard. Um, nice headboard, again, you got a nice little window so you can open that up, get good cross ventilation. We do USB chargers on both sides of the bed. Um, here's your lights, dimmer switch in the bedroom. Up here is intended for CPAP storage, so you have a nice little area here with a 110 outlet back in there. So you can put a CPAP there. Nice storage below. So those are the two extra folding chairs to match the, the okay, chairs below. Okay, yeah, good, good. Um, and there's 
this let's is, go check out this beautiful yeah, bathroom. This has been uh, very well received. So um, another customer driven uh, feature here, or uh, customer driven um, initiative, I should say, is a lot of times you go into these bathrooms and you see two, uh, two sinks. And the comment was made to us that rather than do two sinks, which are often kind of small, the faucet sits kind of low, put in one sink that's deeper with a faucet higher so you can actually use, utilize the space underneath. Another nice which touch. Which also gives you more countertop space because you don't have the two sinks on each side. Um, good storage here. Here's a little um, linen closet. And you know, we do some backlighting on the mirror, which is a nice touch. Talked about the soft clothes. So these toilets are often up against the wall, right? And they've been known to slam in the middle of the night, waking up your significant other. These are soft clothes and they're much easier to clean uh, than what's been known to be out there. Beautiful Big shower. shower. Yeah, it's a 60 inch shower. So it's a residential shower. We have the shelf here, uh, flip down, uh, which is rated for, we had uh, one of our salespeople at the, our Houston deal, his name is Sasquatch. Because I think literally <laughs> this guy's like 6'5", 350 pounds, and he uh, he tested it at the show, no problem. So a great area, you know, for women need to shave their legs. Oh, that nice little sitting area. And then this closet has been uh, very Huge well walk-in closet. So you'll know, you know, typically on a fifth wheel, this chassis will come out a lot further. We've incorporated more of a flush upper deck uh, chassis system. Again, no carpet anywhere. You got a nice hanging rod where I could do a pull-up on. Uh, nice little storage throughout. And this is intended as a little... Uh, hamper. A little hamper, yep. Mm. So that is uh, the Alliance... Uh, 370 FB again our Facebook page is Alliance RV group if you get a chance we'd uh, welcome uh, you guys to join the page thanks a lot Ryan we really appreciate the tour thank you Dave everybody you've seen it here first at wonderful weekenders thanks again Ryan you got it all right so now let's take a quiet look at this beautiful coach while we listen to some soothing jazz music <laughs>
All right, Kim. So, what do you think about that beautiful coach? I loved it so much, and we have never done this before. We went to the uh, RV show. Uh, usually we do uh, one day, and then we just don't go back. All we did after we left Saturday was talk about the, what, what is this, the 3... 370 FB. FB. That's all we talked about. I had to go back and take a second look at it. Just to see if I missed anything or just to think, just to take a look to make sure that I wasn't mistaken in, in what I saw. I absolutely, I loved everything about it. Um, yep. Yep. It didn't have this particular model. They haven't, they're working on the mid bunk that's coming out um, probably later summer. on in the year. In the summer. And I absolutely fell in, in love with this. And you all know how I feel about our current RV. I absolutely, I absolutely love it. And I was shocked that I found something that I actually just fell right in love with. Yeah. So what do you think about this company as a whole? Well, I was really impressed that, first of all, um, Ryan was a very humble person. If you ever notice sometimes when you meet someone that's, um, well, you know, that they're, you know, like owner of a company, sometimes they exude a little, like, this is beneath me type deal. Okay. Well, Ryan wasn't like that. I mean, he was so humble that I actually thought he was a, I thought he was um, a sales rep. I, I thought he was, you know, you know, sales rep trying to, you know, sell an RV. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm a salesman, sorry, saleswoman myself. But uh, he was very nice. We didn't know that he was one of the uh, co-founders co until we go back to the hotel and look it up. Um, he did research online about the company. Yep. So we really enjoyed this coach. We really enjoyed this company. Uh, their philosophy of keeping the customer first and taking the customer's suggestions to help build these RVs is phenomenal. Uh, they have a, a motto of do the right thing and you can't go wrong with that. So we really enjoyed this company. We enjoyed this RV and we can't wait until that mid bunk comes out because you never know what will happen once oh, it comes geez. out. Oh so <laughs> boy. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited and I like that they have the uh, Facebook and you can, you know, they'll put out, you know, plans, you get suggestions. Uh, example, um, they had an area for a CPAP machine and they were told that it wasn't big enough to actually hold a CPAP machine mm -hmm. and they actually changed it. I yep. mean, they listened to the customer. They listened to the customer. I'm just. That's phenomenal. I'm impressed. Yeah. I was very impressed. Oh, good. <laughs> I love humble people. <laughs> if you couldn't tell that, right? Yeah. All right, so that concludes this week's video. We hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you enjoyed this company. Take a look at them. It's called Alliance RV, and their Facebook page is, what's the name of it, Kim? It's Alliance RV Group. Alliance RV Group on Facebook. We'll put a link to that down in the description, in the description down below. All right, so we're gonna end this video one more time by saying, here is hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. All right, folks, hey, Give us that thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. All right. See you later. Bye. Okay. Um, so, we were fortunate enough to secure an interview with a... Just keep right on going. No.